I'm very happy to see you. That's so great. Thank you very much for inviting me. And uh, yeah, so I think let's go. It's, um, it's what I'm doing for more than one year now because of the um, pandemic is uh, some live streams, some online events and uh, a lot of things behind the screen. And uh, it may, made me discover um, a special part of the instrument, of the harmonica. I mean that usually you are playing with friends, playing with musicians, playing uh, uh, on stage for concerts and uh, with a lot of events and things. But since more than one year now, we are blocked at home and um, playing with our family, but not with friends, not, not with, with our usual colleagues. And so oh, it's really strange. And it's the first time I was just trying to play harmonica alone for a so long time. And uh, that's what I'm, I'm loving doing in the live sessions I was making every day and I will always make. Uh, it's uh, just to play harmonica alone for the great fun of doing it. Doing it sorry. And um, the, th the thing which is uh, really impressive is when you are just making a demo at the harmonica, for example, or making a demonstration, I mean, it's, um, it's a special thing. You are just alone with yourself, your harmonica, and just talking with it. Because a uh, harmonica is uh, like a second voice, voice, um, uh, really. And um, for me, it's the, um, the position of the harmonica in the music. Uh, it's really um, like a voice, like a to talking thing. And um, that's why I, w I, I, I wish to talk to you today to how to improvise alone, how to build something, uh, what are the, the really easy effects to, to start playing with and uh, how could we build something really easily and, um, and a small improvisation, which would be a song, maybe. Why not? So here we go. <laughs> and um, we will have um, some discussing also and speaking. If you have some questions, uh, I will make some small breaks and uh, say, OK, if you have a question, please ask. <laughs> so uh, we will do it several times during the, the big hour we have together. So at first, I will play something. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. That's so nice. Ah, I'm reading you in the same time. That's so great. Uh, I'm making progress sees on Zoom. <laughs> so, yeah, who needs a band when you can accompany yourself? Yeah, but it's true that the best is making both, of course. It was just a focus on a special thing, which is playing alone with the harmonica and making something great and aesthetic and artistic. And what I was would like to, to, to say is there is three important things. Uh, in my sense, the first one is when you are playing alone and building an improvisation or playing why not on playback with musicians? Or I don't know. There is three important things. Um, first, the rhythm. The 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 how? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> I need time to speak in English and traduce in my head. Um, hi, Steve. That's so great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so, um, when you are playing a song and starting. You are just, the rhythm is, is really important. Ah, I mean that. You are just counting the music is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, but this feeling of the time, you are just giving it in the harmonica. It means that, for example, I'm playing alone, I try to always give a rhythm, um, some um, some points to catch. In fact, it's um, yeah, I am losing the word, but I will explain. It's um, yeah, the groove, but uh, you are just giving some points of um, to to repair to to make a like um, how to say sorry. I'm taking my Google. Word reference is my, is my best friend. Is those in those cases? It's yeah, a landmark, a point of reference. That's so easy <laughs> to say. <laughs> so the point of references are the point of rhythm you will push on it. I mean that. For example, when you are starting playing. making something complicated. It's just, I'm counting one, two, three, four. Here I'm playing on every times, okay? One, two, three, four. Okay? And I will choose the times I will... Uh, I, it what times I will put in value, in fact. So, for me, the first step is to choose a small rhythm you like. And when you have the rhythm and you can turn around it during some minutes, it's um, the very good point. When you are building an improvisation, you the first thing is the rhythm. You need to, to start by something. You need to think about something. And the, the way you will be on the rhythm is the main point of everything. Because what is, um, what is talking when you are just making something very simple is it's the way you are making it, making it and playing it. I mean that. <laughs> There's already something who is moving and going on when I'm making really nothing. I'm just drawing and blowing. But whatever the, the, the manner you will do that, um, what you will what will be your choose? I can choose something faster. I will also 
um, I, I will also need to be able to if I if I'm choosing something fast, it will be much more difficult, of course. Uh, and I will it will ask me to be able to make slow, make faster, and bring what I'm playing to those different spaces and um, and um, moods, in fact. Um, articulate on the chords, articulate, what that, what that means for you, articulate on the chords, yes, uh, I can play some, if I want to play a blue scale, I, I will play a blue scale, if I, if I just want to play something with draw, blow, um, articulate on the chords using my tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, um, the um, yeah the articulations like taka tuku, taka when you are drawing, tuku when you are blowing, are the most famous ones. Yeah, taka da 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 da. It's really something like that. The, the way you are um, articulating is the the, 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 the way you are making a rhythmic that you, you can just draw and blow, then after bring some new things. Um, in my sense, even if you don't have some um, a lot of technique at the harmonica, it's everything is possible. You can start with something very simple with no technique at all and make a thing really incredible <laughs> it's a uh, it's a uh, it's the true beginning of the things and i think that when you are starting starting needing needing techniques and bendings and uh, all the advanced techniques you can imagine it will come after the basis is your rhythm after the second point very important for me is your sound Work on your sound. The sound is something really important when you are playing harmonica because a great and gentle, gentle sound will be really um, sweet to listen to your audience and uh, it will be much more understandable too. Uh, it's really something we have to care and to take care um, at every moment of our improvisation or, or technique. So it's interesting, I think, to spend some time on working your natural notes. I'm making bendings here, but if I don't bend... I did something with a bend. No bends, nothing, not, nothing complicated, just draw, blow. For example, there are some millions of examples. So, first, rhythm, second, the sound. And third, all the effects and aesthetic you can bring. For example, I'm just making chords, so 3, 4, 5, draw, for example, 2, 3, 4, draw, just a little down, and 1, 2, 3, draw, and I will also play, for example, the, the blow chord, 1, 2, 3, 4, for example, and I will make a play, a game with that. For example, and what is interesting, I think, is to try starting with really simple things and working on details. For example, when I'm drawing, I put small vibrato. I'm, I prefer the diaphragm one, this one here. The, it's a vibrato created by your breath, in fact. And uh, it's very gentle and um, sweet and uh, warm. And um, it's just for a start, just making, breathing a little your note. 
After you can blow, because you really need to blow after a long draw note, you can make a hand vibrato too. It's a wah wah. Alors, for the wah wah, just try to don't lose the air, everything is closed, and I'm just using my fingers like this to open and close my hands. For example, so with those two techniques, I will play. starting to create uh, an ambience, ambient, an ambient thing. After, I will try to add some notes. For example, natural notes, of course. For example, one draw, two blow, two draw, then two draw. Second time. Your natural notes are really important. I'm making making it slowly. Um, and also, sorry, I'm with a C harmonica. I think you, everybody guessed that, <laughs> but I'm with a C harmonica. So one draw, okay, with a little throat vibrato, two blow, three, um, two draw. Sorry, before. Voilà. So, one, draw, two, blow, two, draw, again. For example. Okay? Donc, I will start by... There's just like a um, shaking of everything I've told from the beginning. The chords. Okay, the natural notes. And after I added three, three draw, four blow, and three draw again. And what is making this interesting, uh, in my sense, in my point of view, is that it will create um, already a small song, a small rhythmic, a small improvisation, and a small expression. And step by step, you will build and create uh, the other parts of where you, you are uh, it's your imagination uh, which is guiding you in that way and uh, in those, um, yeah, in those, in those creations, when you are improvisating, the first step is to choose a rhythm, and then you start by your note. The first one, you are obliged to do that. <laughs> For example, and you progress, and you progress, and after you add. For example, another thing, um, the octaves and tongue blocking. I think you already know everything and all of that. And um, the the interesting thing I th it is to focus on one point and and say, okay, I will use the octave, prefix, 
blowing. Tongue blocking on five, for example. Tongue so the octave three six blow, then the tongue blocking to get the five blow. Then I'm drawing to get the tongue blocking with the four, for example. Then the chord to finish. And to finish, I've added a new phrase. One draw, two blow, three blow, two blow, two draw. What is important when you are improvising and creating is to be as precise as you can in everything you are doing, even the simplest ones. Just a natural note have to be Perfect. It's really the key, I think, of um, playing alone and making uh, a nice and clear um, little, um, yeah, a new, a new, a new artistic work, a creation. <laughs> Just um, get your questions if you have some, and uh, starting discussing with you if you are agree. Um, so um, I don't yeah. know if we are just unmuting or not, or some. <laughs> yeah, if if you'd like to just unmute if you got any questions. Here's a question for you, Rochelle. Do, do, um, with regards to the, um, I think it's called throat vibrato, isn't it? The, is that the diaphragm? Um, how 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 do people go about doing that? I mean, because because one thing I, I can't, I think it was Lee Sankey was saying a lot of the time playing without the harmonica there, so you recognise the sounds of your own breath. Yeah. Okay, so the throat vibrato and the diaphragm one, what is the difference between the two? It, it, it's, um, is that the question? It, it can be, yes. Let's, yeah. let, let's make it a question, yeah. Oh, it's, you're great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So for the throat vibrato, you will feel your throat really uh, making a, 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 a. Uh, it's some pushes you, 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 you are making with your throat. And when you are just breathing and drawing, it's a vibrato you only can use when you are drawing. So, for example, to draw, vibrato. It's a little move, it's a little move of this part here. Um, it's um, the part you are using when you are talking, the, ah, 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 you know, the, the, the vocal here, and it's uh, just tapping and making, ah, 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 ah. and it's in, in that way you will get the vibrato. It's moving here and uh, making the, the, pulse, uh, the, the rhythm of the vibrato and you can work it on, um, with a metronome, for example, tick, tack, 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 and you will have, uh, for example, I take mine, so, thank you, <laughs> the, <laughs> the phone, <laughs> um, metronome, okay, for example, I think you will hear it with the microphone. So, are you hearing it? Yeah? 
So I will make my vibrato on it, okay? It's really slow. I can use a little bit, uh, a little higher, it's more easy. For example, 100, for example. And when you are just try trying this, you will try, it's really difficult, but after you will um, be careful of your throat vibrato and using, and using it uh, at the good tempo, depending on the song you are playing. Because when you are playing a blues song, for example, your vibrato will be in the rhythm of the song and not too fast and not too slow. <laughs> it's strange, but that's the case. And the diaphragm one here, it's uh, the fact of breathing it. It's really your breath here, this muscle here, who is he, which is making the... And it's working drawing and blowing it. And the same. You will work it really slow and faster. It's only this part here at the stomach which is moving, not the throat anymore. That's the big difference between the two sounds and two vibratos, and it's true that they are not the same. The, the throat vibrato it's, is much more powerful. Um, it's really much more hard, strong, and uh, it's uh, yeah, a blues rock one, in fact. Huh? It's a... When you want a lot of energy, you can use this one. And for the other here, the, the, the diaphragm, it's a gentle, it's for long notes, for the end of the notes, often, for me. It's a slow, slower one with long thing like that. It's um, it's not powerful and um, um, and and small like the throat vibrato. It's. I hope I answered your question. <laughs> Someone mentions that they find tongue vibrato um, good for them. So I'm presuming that's just the tongue across the um, uh, the holes, or yeah, I'm, I'm assuming, yeah, yeah, um, the tongue vibrato. Uh, there is uh, several. The one you played, it's like uh, making tongue blocking, but really fast. But the one I'm using often is um, uh, this one, the swing gum vibrato. <coughs> Sorry. So, uh, for example. The swing gum, it's like if you were showing a swing gum and uh, so you are not, um, you are just making it blowing, blowing and drawing. And it's a really thin one. Um, uh, so, um, oh, bye bye. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, so, why I 
can't use the throat vibrato on the blow notes. It's, um, did you already try that? <laughs> I will try just for fun. I have the sensation <clears throat> to make <coughs> in my harmonica. It's really, um, how to say, disagreeable, disagreeable. A, a bad sensation like that, it's um, mm, uh, making <laughs> tossing. <laughs> but um, uh, the, the reason is that uh, the throat vibrato in draw notes permits you to bend a little bit. And it's that particular thing who permits to really catch the notes and make the great big vibrato because the vibrato is in fact the the the, the physic thing it's to make a small bend your note is um more higher than less than more than less that is the vibrato it's influencing on the high of the note in fact yeah the, the pitch thank you for the word <laughs> And um, <clears throat> uh, altering pitch slightly, absolutely more or less slightly, for example. Uh, here I, 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 I really have the free blow and the free bend one time in the vibrato. My main note is a free bend one time, but the throat vibrato is making appearing the natural note on the free draw. And the throat vibrato is making natural and bend really fast. And uh, that is great. <laughs> Our volume. Um, yeah, but in, if you are just hearing it, This is a change of volume, but it's not a real vibrato. When I'm showing my swing gun, <laughs> uh, the vibrato it's the same. The note is the pitch is is not the same. In fact, it really um, it's um, it's really small, but it exists. <laughs> And the only one which is not um, changing the pitch is the diaphragm one. Because it's really the only one when you are starting the notes and cutting. Starting the note and cutting. And it's this cutting effect who is making the vibrato. I'm cutting the, the breath, in fact, and the, this cut of breath is um, changing, yes, the volume, but um, it's not, your breath is not continuing, it's breath, 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 <laughs> that's more something like that uh, in, my, in my way of play, because um, each time I'm explaining some things, it, you, you really have to be careful of um, Every person is different and we will, everybody will make bendings and effects his own way. Uh, what I'm explaining is just my way of play and my way of doing things. But uh, really take what you have to take and uh, keep in mind that, um, for example, one thing I will feel comfortable will be the other one for you. For example, it's, it, it won't be exactly the same. It's normal because harmonica is an instrument um, which is really personal and uh, everybody will, will have his way to make bands, his way to make effects. So it's re really a creation work and uh, that's great. <laughs> Do you have other questions, please? There's not to be any other questions at the moment, Michelle. Um... Okay, so I have a, a question for you. Uh, is it some someone here who would like to try something on the harmonica? Just a few seconds. Um, I, I don't know some 
eight mesure or, or more if you want and uh, trying to do something as I'm doing since the beginning. Come on, folks, don't be shy. This is your chance to do out with, uh, with Rochelle here. Yeah, I would like to hear you play. Yeah, can I just um, show you what I meant by that yah ya sound in the vibrato? So this is how I would do it. So I'm going. Okay. And I find that so much easier. Yeah. Um, yeah, I saw you. <laughs> I found you <laughs> in right. my screen. So great. So, um, do you ever do use that method? Uh, yeah. Can you do it again? As I'm so, I'm seeing you. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. It's it's uh, it's uh, that I'm I'm calling showing the fringam. It's yeah 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 yeah. 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 And when I'm, could you do that on the three draw for me? Yeah. yeah. I'm really faster. Faster. And you are making a real gentle vibrato and that's great. And what you can do now is to try to get it more deeper. I mean that, for example. You are almost bending. Yeah, this is really the big, the big one. But in, in the real way of play now, <laughs> it's... Yeah. Great. So, do you want to play something? No, you're okay. <laughs> we, we do have one volunteer, um, Rochelle. Is it Alan? Yep. Do you want to unmute yourself then, Alan? Thank you very much. Oh. I'm unmuted. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Okay, oh. ladies and gentlemen, this is Alan. He's who's going to do uh, a few bars. Yeah. <laughs> Take it away, Alan. Is there anything particular or just anything? You did it! <laughs> Thanks, Alan. So, what I would have to say is, your idea is great, the small rhythmic you are making at the beginning is great, but you are playing it like a melody. So, the understanding of your rhythm is a little, little difficult for us. What I would suggest is, my, my proposal is, to hear again your first phrase, the first phrase you are playing, did you remember of what you played? 
was something like that. Wow. Yeah. So here I would mark more the rhythm. Really? Uh, the way we yeah. And 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 add also the chords because just your two draw can be played like that. And because of the fact you are alone, it's much more easy to play bigger. And after I'm using tongue blocking to be faster, because oh. in fact when you are playing the chord, it's easy with the tongue blocking to get the the five. It's just so close. You see? Hmm. That's easy, in fact. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, I'm reading a question now. Do I exclusively use Golden Melody? Yes. And why? Because my go the Golden Melodies are my favorite for years now. And... Um, To explain it very easily, the golden have a particularity here. They are particular. They are closed. For example, a marine bond here, this one. A marine bond is open. And I love both, but I'm my favorite is the golden because the reeds are more flexible. The sound is more warm, and um, and my loss of air are really almost inexistent because um, the instrument is really the holes are thin, thinner, a little bit thinner than others. I don't know if you see, but it's true, and. Um, the fact the sides are closed, it's really different. Uh, it's a different kind of play and kind of sound. It's a more, um, it's a different sound. It's a classic sound, in fact. But um, my reason is that I'm playing much more faster and uh, e uh, it's much more easy for me to play on golden melodies. And also um, for the um, lips, I don't like the wood. I like, I'm loving the plastic comb. It's really, um, for, the, for the lips, um, less sensitive, in fact. And uh, the wood, it's harder to play uh, because of the scratching a little bit of the lips on the, uh, the harmonica. That's why I'm, the Golden Melody are my favorite ones. And um, uh, no, not customized, it's out of the box, but uh, sometimes I'm reducing the gap between uh, the reeds and um, the plates, in fact, uh, because uh, it's true that sometimes the, the, the gap is really, really uh, it's a big gap and uh, it's much, it's too much. It's too much and uh, it uh, makes uh, the band difficult, the overblows difficult to get. And um, so in that way, um, if it's arriving, I'm just um, putting off everything and uh, taking a little little pick to put inside and um, reducing the gap in the both sides and after that uh, that's great <laughs> so no problem <laughs> Maintenant. 
I'm trying the other one now. You will feel the sound difference. It's big. It's um, a real Marindon clas classic sound. That's so great, too. <laughs> the classic blues sound and um, yeah this one is uh, the last one the anniversary I'm really loving this one because it's really well made um, the, the, the how to say um, les réglages the, the, no, the, I will search and find yeah the adjustment is really really great and wonderful uh, i touched nothing out of the box and uh, it's amazing so um again i would like to hear you play again if uh, someone would like to play something for me it would be really great i would be very happy to hear you i don't mind giving it a go <coughs> it's bob here oh hi bob yeah It'll I'm probably stuck. sound very much like Rochelle's just taught us because it gets stuck in your brain. Okay? Well, that's a good thing. <laughs> okay, one, two, one, two, three. Congratulations! <laughs> well done, Bob. We, we've also got um, Jos. I think he's um, he's volunteered to do a little bit as well. Right, I will. Thank you. great uh yes um one one thing rochelle as well that, that i i struggle with is when you're playing solo is is keeping the same tempo i i tend to speed up and certainly if you're slightly nervous and playing in front of other people have you got any tips about keeping the the tempo the speed uh the same and not speeding up yeah it's playing every day in fact uh, the practice only the practice and uh, your practice in front of an audience, for example, isn't the same than at home. <laughs> when you are making your real souls and uh, alone at home or with friends, everything is always good. But on stage, <laughs> it's not the same. <laughs> so you have to go in the big bath and, uh, and try to, to, to make it as good as possible on stage and step by step. Um, for that, jam sessions are a great, great idea. Because in jam sessions, you, are, you have the, the feeling of the audience. You are on a stage. It's um, a little bit frightening. Why not? And uh, you will learn a lot on what you are doing because making it for real is the best exercise you have. And uh, it's true that you can speed up the tempo or slow it down. And um, it can be also your choice. Um, if it's a voluntary thing, that's correct. 
if it's not voluntary, that when the the, the, the matters are starting. <laughs> so it's, for me, it's um, for example, if you are choosing, um, ah, yeah, another thing, uh, if you are on stage making something and making a solo like that, uh, be careful of playing everything who are really easy for you. If you are starting to play something, you are a little bit um, not very strong, you will feel it and uh, you will feel uncomfortable. And uh, it's true that I think the best thing I can say is, um, for example, let's take the song you are working on and um, um, have a reflection on what you are playing on stage. And when uh, when is the moment you are feeling uncomfortable because of speeding, speeding up the tempo, for example, or moving a little bit. And at this moment, the idea is to think about what can you, what could you play, um, which would permit you to feel very comfortable at this moment. So if it's, is there something you could help, for example, When I'm playing this uh, on stage, for example, um, the goal is to really feel the rhythm walking. So I will make some accents. And what I'm playing uh, between the accents, uh, it's always good. <laughs> what is difficult is to be there. It's really simple, everything is correct, and uh, when I will play, for example, on stage, I will think about it and turn around. But my main line is always the same, and I'm really sure of the main line. So I think that the idea for you would be to think about your main line and uh, really make the, the things as simple as possible and go straight and never stop and everything will be good. <laughs> Okay, we got any more volunteers or more questions? Um, well, I'm very new to uh, diatonic harmonica, so I'm slightly reluctant to do anything. But I, I've been practicing the, uh, I've been practicing the. Um, you were talking about the vibrato with the metronome. So I've just, I've just tried that, but I'm, I'm not sure how I'm doing it. Is it? I don't know if I'm doing it from the diaphragm or the throat. Is it? Can you give me an opinion on that, if you don't mind? So. Okay. Is that is that completely wrong? I don't I don't I don't know what I'm doing that with the throat or the am I using my tongue or what? I you are really making know. yeah I think you are making the both in fact and uh, you are trying to search the ah 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 and uh, for example for this one nothing is moving your tongue is not moving it's just like that plate and. Um, it's only your throat who is moving. And the same drawing without the voice, and as will be correct. Let's try. Yeah, I don't know if I could, I don't know if I could do it with a the harmonica there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Do it, do it. No, it's, it's very uncontrolled, isn't it? But um... yeah, but it will it will come. It's the you you have. The... Yeah, that's it. Yeah, interesting. You have understood. That's it. We've also got a few, a few more questions. That's brilliant. Um, uh, David asks a. Uh, uh, doesn't play diatonic harmonicas, uh, mainly uh, traditional uh, tremolos. So what is the best way to start to learn to play diatonics? That's a big question. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> question. <to> yeah. <laughs> so for example, what we did today can be a great way to start um, thinking about on a diatonic, you will blow and draw. And after you will need to learn to make single notes. 
But the main part is to breathe into your harmonica, in, in the harmonica. For example, you can start by playing I'm blowing then drawing blow, draw, blow, draw, just like that. And uh, after um, you can start to play one note more blowing. Just a two draw, for example, or two blow, I don't know what. Every note, you can start with the note you want, for example, and it's draw the chord one time. It's one, two, three. You are just taking your harmonica in the left side here. It's one, two, three in the same time. Draw, blow, and you can work with effect like the vibrato of hands. It's very easy. Uh, I think it's the first um, step to start um, making your, your own stuff with a diatonic harmonica. After, when you will play some small things like that, you will start to learn brandings and other things. But in my sense, just start to make your rhythmics And few notes. For example, when I started harmonica, I wasn't able to make bendings. During the four first years, I've never played a bend because um, I was learning with books, and in the books it was explained. But at um, at this time, we were <laughs> we didn't have YouTube uh, videos, uh, tutorials, and uh, everything we have today. So it was it, there. There was no way to know how it sounded and how it was made. Um, and it's only when I started harmonica lessons that I see my teacher doing this, and I say, Ah, yes, there's another note in the same note. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> but in the at the beginning uh i i just um it i i was just playing rhythms and single notes and trying to make the single lo single notes at the right place in the music it's really the way to start learning diatonic harmonica in my sense it's the best way and after i think uh, if you are playing a little bit every day in one month for example or two months you will start to uh, see your videos and taking harmonica lessons with harmonica uk and uh, you will start to learn bendings and and uh, and the, the, the first techniques but um, there is no matter with the techniques uh, to start playing it's uh, not a problem so that's great. <laughs> and I love also the tremolo harmonica. It's a great sound. Um, let's have a, another look for uh, what headset are you using? This headset? Yes. Thank you very much. Uh, this headset is a gift uh, and uh, it's a gamer, uh, a gamer uh, headphone. Uh, I write here the, the name because uh, I will pronounce not the good way. It's an Hyperix. It's, it's a gamer headphone and uh, it's made for the computers. Uh, and I'm I, I, I also using it on my um, phone for the live sessions, for example. And it's working well with a little um, thing like that who permits to arrive in the phone but uh, the android the other ones are able to take a headphone inside easily there's the good uh, <laughs> the right thing on the phone because here there's nothing <laughs> so it's a problem uh, so it's a um, headphone really classic it's um, easy to find and uh, on on the shops i think you will find it Rachel, oh. did did the headphones come with the wind um, protection thing on it already? 
Um, this is a little part, but um, oh. Oops. Um, <laughs> there's a computer here. <laughs> I think, I think, um, Jack, if you can stop sharing your screen, please. <laughs> It's not a problem. Uh, so uh, now for the wind, I think it. Uh, I will hear the wind. But um, for example, if I'm outside, I will put my microphone here really close to my mouth and uh, I think the voice will um, be good. But um, for the harmonica, I have to put it a little um, in the side because I need a place to put my, my hands. Yeah. So, uh, I don't think uh, with the big wind. Um, I think you will hear the. No, did it? Did it come with the foam thing on the end? Did it come with that black foam thing on the end of the mic? When you had it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it came yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah, Fine. Yeah, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, and uh, I will explain you a little joke. I think you will like it. Uh, in fact, um, the last, the two last, last years. I think I bought three or four headphones because of my cat, my, the, my mother's cat. My mother's cat loves the, those things. And the problem is a classic no. headphone has <laughs> a little one, really thin, and the cat has eaten and yeah. cut in exactly. in several ways the first okay i was hungry i said okay i buy another one i have a beats one but so great but um not the same quality that this one uh, it was a, a headphone for uh, smartphones in fact but this is is best better because for a computer is i think it's more com compatible than the others yeah. and um so second one uh cut it too few months after i had the the missed chance to let it in the living room and the cat came <laughs> and came to eat the little uh, okay that's expensive yeah, yeah that's very 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 expensive so the last one i huh. said i want a headphone which is able to be repaired because the other ones are just, uh, it's a, a headphone in, if there is something uh, bad, you are obliged to change everything. So my, my reflection was, okay, I want a headphone, but if this, I can right. put it off and buy another one. If this, I think it will be okay for the next 10 years. <laughs> and for this part, it's here a connecting and uh, the, so if the cat is again eating this i just have this to change and not everything <laughs> so yeah. that's why yeah. i took a lot of time to choose this one but uh yeah really is uh, it some when, when you plug it in do you plug it is it a jack plug on the yeah. end it's a jack that goes plug. Into, yeah. into an interface yeah 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 i yeah. can um, i can put it off but it will put a big sound just now, three, two, one, zero. Okay. Ah, yeah. Thank you. It's lovely. So, yeah. Thank, thank you, Rochelle. That's great. You're welcome. <laughs> Any other questions? Oh, I was going to say, I think it was very useful with the metronome, the way you built up the, the rhythm. And that would be very helpful with the speed of playing too. And, and where to place the notes, which you showed us, which was really helpful. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, that, that was something I was going to say, Dave. Dave Sorry, um, Sam. You stole, stole my thunder. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, Rochelle, before we started, you were telling uh, Pete and me about the work you've been doing with, with children. Um, yeah. I just wonder if you'd like to say a few words about that. Yeah, of course. Uh, I have the great pleasure and happiness to make some things in the last week um, around the last lockdown <laughs> we had last month. But um, uh, I had the chance to come in schools, in classes, to make some uh, showcase for the children 
and uh, the younger ones to the older ones. And the um, honor permits to provide uh, harmonicas, happy color, to the children. So the children get their harmonica in hand uh, after the showcase and uh, had a little session to have the first learning of harmonica. And it was absolutely amazing. So thanks a lot to Horner for that. It's um, extraordinary. And uh, it was a great pleasure for me to participate in doing that. And uh, it's a really an awesome experience. The, ch the children are really, really fascinated by the harmonica. They liked a lot. They were just, wow, what is that? And uh, it was really impressive. And uh, when they took the harmonica, it's this one. The colored one, there are some green, some yellow, some blue, some red ones. And, uh, and uh, they were really so happy uh, to, to play their, their first instrument for a lot of, of children. It's um, a small part of children who already have at home an instrument of music for play for them. And uh, so thanks a lot to Horner for that. It's, um, it's extraordinary, it's fantastic. And we did some first steps in the harmonica. That's a really nice to start. <laughs> so it's a, it's a great pleasure for me to start to make uh, concerts again in that way and uh, musical activities in that way. It was a really difficult period for music lovers and uh, I hope we are um, coming uh, in a new times and new period which will be easier for everybody and um, better for health too. But uh, it's true that my next concert at this time, uh, on a stage, is uh, maybe for August. And it's a long way before, so there's a lot of friends who always have consolations, consolations, consolations. It's, uh, I, don't, I don't know where will be the end, but uh, it's really difficult to be able to organize things to welcome. Um, the persons in a safe way. It's uh, very, very, very mm. difficult to organize. Mm. Very mm. much so. Okay, if there aren't any questions, should we, should we leave it there? Yeah. Thank you so much, Rochelle. Thank you very much. You played very well. Uh, thank you to everybody for being there. And uh, I'm very, very happy to be with you. And uh, if you want, I play again something for yes, you. Please. Oh, yes, please. Yes, yeah. please. Yeah. With a great pleasure. We have time. You said yes. we have all the time we want. So <laughs> go for it. <laughs> yeah. I will change of harmonica. I will take other ones. I love the low harmonicas. It's very amazing because. Ah, yes, and the, the, the thing I told you before uh, at the beginning when we are discussing with Pete and you, Sam, it was that I had a great chance to make a concert um, for the Greensburg High School in the Indiana, USA. It was incredible, and uh, we did it by screens, and uh, it was uh, uh, an amazing moment as uh, the one we can have together in those meetings. <laughs> so, I love the really low ones. For example, this one is... Are you hearing me well? Yeah? Thank you, thank you. Okay, so...
faire 